so so what i have designed this uh, course as uh, to cover to to cover the architecture okay i uh, hope you are able to see right and yes yes i can see and uh, ppt yeah i guess yeah so uh, the architecture and the administration and the security and uh, repository design and management like deployment installation of file net and configurations and troubleshooting and also uh, tuning any performance okay. so this is what uh, um, that i have designed but if you want anything uh, you would like to cover you can add, you can just uh, ping me in the later sessions so, so that i can add here okay so this is the detailed syllabus okay which uh, uh, on like on a low level like what we are going to cover okay so introduction to file net building an object store object store metadata security and uh, search migrating applications sweep jobs auditing logging these things okay yeah so let's discuss what is file net so as you are already aware that you are already worked on sharepoint right so you will have the basic knowledge of the uh, enterprise content management so this is the product ibm file is the product is a ecm ecm product from ibm and where it supports uh, enterprise content management and also business process management so as we know that uh, enterprise content management is nothing but managing a content see we, we, when we see the data we have uh, structured data and also unstructured data so when we see the structured data where we what we store in database is nothing but the structured data we stores in a rows and columns right so here we have here we have unstructured data that is nothing but the files like images videos audio all these files so how this is this this is unstructured data and that's how we manage the unstructured data in file net you like that is called a Mm, yeah, enterprise content management and uh, if I let, we, what we can save like a exe file uh, all, all uh, uh, like uh, png png people files everything is can be saved in the file net yeah yeah we can we can also we can upload all these kinds of documents mm. even exe even what kind of mime, mime type or the type of the file we can store it not an issue Okay. Yeah. So going for a BPM. So BPM is a business process management. So uh, this is this uh, this is about the process managing the process. About the process is nothing but uh, we can implement using a workflows. So in every organization we have the uh, process right. So like let's say if a bank if, I, if it is a banking domain. So there is a process to apply a loan. Okay. There is certain steps. And there are some approvals. There are some uh, certain kind of uh, what we call the uh, uh, background verifications and document verifications. All these kinds of everything it comes it 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 will be validated in a process, right? So in order to put the process in the system and automate it and make it uh, online, okay. So we have the workflows so such that we can design a workflow and we can implement in the file net so this is business process management so i think uh, does sharepoint have the this feature uh, business process like we do you have workflows yes yes in sharepoint we have workflows uh, email notifications uh, workflow approvals uh, which is there in sharepoint okay good 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 i think you, you you can get it easily yes so going to the architecture okay this is very old architecture i'm showing showing you now so this is how how the transformation from the old architecture to new architecture i'll explain you okay generally if you attend any interviews or anything like uh, if you uh, attend some basic uh, calls right on file so uh, this is the generally they ask for the differences okay what is the architecture in the old version and the new version so 4.5 is the old one right yeah 4.5 is the old one so uh, still um, i think there is no support but still uh, maybe 
clients are also using which by year? taking some 4.5 in which year like 2018 almost uh, 10 yeah almost 10 years ago this was i think we are using ago, but... almost uh, this one only like i have you are using this maybe because i have seen like uh, Dozen from 18, I have seen in this company, they didn't change. Maybe they're using old one only. Okay, okay. So 2008, since 2018, they were using, right? Yeah, before, after, before also is there, but I have seen from 2018. Okay, might be maybe 4.5 might be because 5.0 and 5.5, these are the latest versions which came, I think, after 2018. Ah, so that means we are using 4.5 yeah yeah so might be so yeah, then it's good to know about 4.5 also right so so uh, like 4.5 to uh, 5 to 5.5 your latest version my uh, upgrade is little tricky okay i'll explain you later okay where is the like we'll have some additional steps to do it because five if you upgrade from 5.0 to 5.2 or 5.5 that that is easy only okay so 4.5 the ad, since the architecture is different right so we have to move some components to others uh, components and we have to clump okay uh, the databases to into the other database so th- there is some uh, architectural differences are there such that i'll explain you so you get an idea okay so these uh, this is the architecture for file where you see however it's a uh, web browser through web browser the user will access to a uh, file net uh, application engine okay so we have application server so generally um, you are aware right the application server is nothing but the where we host our applications then like we here we are using uh, web sphere generally uh, we use what is file, the file meaning net. of this uh, like we have the names uh, cpe CSS ICN. This is a file name name or some other names. Yeah, 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 yeah. CP is Content Platform Engine, and um, ah. ICN is Content Navigator, IBM Content Navigator. In ICN, and you can see the which is the version we are using, right? ICN, yes, we can. In ICN, we can see the version, but it's a version of ICN only. Ah, not the file. Name. ICN version. not file file net if you can how to see the file net version is that you just browse this url uh, i'll give one url okay do, do you have the local uh, the ip and port number right where the yes. file net is running this is yes. the ip and port slash file net slash ninja just uh, hit this url in this pair we have two ports sir. like example 80 mm. and 90 Two ports. Whenever the, we open uh, the first port uh, for file net, it came up. There is another application hosting the same one. It came after five hours. Is there any dependency? Like the VSphere also, we have like to run uh, the ports services. I did not get your question. Like to which port you are asking about? We have in same application. We have two ports. Hmm. For Whenever ICN you, you have open. different port and uh, for FileNet you have different port. Yeah. Hmm. So. Uh, we question? have two application hosted in one uh, base pair. Okay. The how many hosts we can do in the base pair? how many ports yeah right the hosting yes yeah we can we make can, multiple right you can use n number of yeah n number of uh, ports 
so the, by default it stay it will take 9080 port okay yeah 9080 uh, correct uh, when we deploy when you deploy the other additional applications it takes 9081 9082 okay it follows this series If you see my screen, uh, I'm just yeah. uh, this is my environment. If I want to host, uh, if I want to install FileNet, uh, what are the things mm -hmm. I have to be prepared from my side? If you want to install, yeah, like practice in my local environment. Yeah. Okay. You are using uh, Linux or Windows? Windows. So there is a for as a prerequisite, right? You should have a database to be installed before installing FileNet, right? Yes. Okay. We should have database, and uh, we should have the AD server. Active yeah, we have server. AD server. AD we have like for environment. Yeah? Uh, we have SQL database SQL also. 2019 is there. Okay. An application the server. Things, uh, Okay, so we, when you have to install FileNet, right? It is yeah. not a what we call. Uh, we have to install a binaries first of all. Prerequisite for the FileNet. Prerequisites is the we we have some .NET uh, frameworks. Okay, with that that should support. So there are some. I will give you the list of prerequisites, like uh, uh -huh. so .NET framework 3.5 or something in the, the versions. Okay. Uh, then uh, you can, uh, if you have all this like database, AD, everything is there, right? So you can start, yes. start, start installing binaries first of all, the file net binaries. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, then comes to a deployment. Okay. Well, it's just installing binaries in your local system, and then you have to deploy file net. So for that, we have a configuration manager, file net configuration manager, where we have to execute some steps there. Okay, creating a domain, creating object store, deploying a file net application. So, and creating data sources for the databases. Okay, uh, and uh, connecting them for a uh, object store and GCD database. So, there's a certain uh, process for it. So, maybe I, I, in the coming uh, course, in the coming uh, days, I'll explain you. Uh, even I, if possible, I can demonstrate also the installation. Uh, yeah. Okay, so is is it uh, required urgently with the installation? You wanted to directly go for installation, or uh, how you would like to? I want to go parallelly, like uh, hmm. parallelly, which you give me task to, to install the all the things. I will do in parallelly this installation. Plus uh, hmm. the things which you explain for the how to manage this one. Mm -hmm. It's in less time we can cover other things. Hmm. Do you have the uh, environment test, tech, uh, test box or any any box which there is there for installation ready now? Yes, yes, I have. We have a uh, like uh, hmm. servers is ready. Server service, right? Empty servers. I have this one. Hmm. Before that, um, I will give you mon Monday or Tuesday. I'll give you the list of softwares that should be installed before uh, installing FileNet. Okay, we uh, let's say web it is, are you using how, web? how about the upgrade? Sorry? Yeah upgrade and installation same or different yeah? like four point five to upgrade mm, upgrade okay are you doing upgrade on the same machine or uh, using no, no, a sir. different yeah. upgrade new machine will be better I think right no, as per the client client requirement, as per the client, if some some clients recommend uh, upgrading on the same machines, okay, on the same operating system, and uh, some clients prefer a new machines and new operating systems so as that migration, like it's it's, it's a generally a migration from one um, operating system to the other operating. System. Then, what is the approach here for me? Um, still, it's not uh, like uh, confirm. Like mm -hmm. we have servers, uh, like uh, we can request new servers. If it is which is best, that's practice. 
if you have a new mm-hmm. servers or uh, update the same server okay what is the operating what? system you are using version what is the version 2019 2019 okay that's not old mm, i think uh, we can check okay uh, if the latest version supports 2019 or not so such uh, that we can decide i can check uh, in the server right which version we are using uh, in, in file net for file net version you are talking about no no in the windows i let me check windows uh, no windows server 2012 r2 we are using 2012 it's an old server Yes, older. They, I they don't change. think okay, I don't think this operating system will support now for latest file net version. Maybe you have to go with the latest 2000, uh, um, maybe 16 or 20. You, I yeah, think you yeah exactly. Right. Just I log into the yeah. server, I can see it's 2012 mm-hmm. R2. Okay. So no, I think there's one site, okay, website where you can check the prerequisites for IBM. Okay, I, IBM. Dependency matrix. If I upgrade in the new server, we need to take a whole backup database restore in the sql new sql like 2019 or 21 correct or no database can be same as mm-hmm. database also will check the what we call mm-hmm, the version which it supports because uh, uh, this requires uh, upgrade right this requires uh, good planning actually okay if if you if we start with uh, without checking all these things right we, we may end up in some errors okay so no. let's check okay what versions you have just ping me okay yeah. after this session you can ping me what is the operating system existing operating system and what is the existing web sphere are you using web sphere yes okay, we are server? using web sphere yeah okay so what is the existing web sphere application server version what is the file net version and what is the db version let me ping you It is a license will be same or change as a license which we like compare where like we take a license uh, it should be take a license from Microsoft uh, IBM license <laughs> yeah license will uh, definitely change because the old version you might have I think client might have taken some extended support okay. yeah so now 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 uh, now you have to take a different license for Pyrotex. it's based on user or based on servers sir? mostly based on okay. users the count of the users mm-hmm. based on users they will provide the license yeah yes correct there's no like a dependency how many cpus we are using how many ram we are using they are not going to calculate that one IBM. How do they calculate the uh, I, I think because I am not sure because I am never involved in the licensing part. Okay, but uh, only one thing I know the number of users. Okay. Number of users based on users. Yeah, based on number of users. But I am not sure what changes they did in the license part since I have not checked. I have not worked on licensing part uh, I think some four or five years ago. Yeah, because upgrading, I want to know, like, what will different the license, like SharePoint to be upgraded. Have... We use uh-huh. a new installation, new configuration, new license with, uh, like, 2016, 13 to 16, 16 to 19, and SC. What have idea uh-huh. on this one, Microsoft? We install new one and we migrate the data. Mm-hmm. Okay. In SharePoint. Okay. okay. I don't have ideas. Yeah, yeah. So licensing part, I think most of the things like you only uh, sales persons will take care. Okay, where they will, there's nothing to import here in the licensing. Okay, file net. 
we have to download the softwares using IBM account. Do you have the IBM account? Uh, uh, I think any one of you. I think maybe in, in our like uh, my colleague they have like uh, IBM account. Yeah, if, have, if you have IBM account, right? So since uh, you have uh, the client, uh, what we call the account, so then uh, you can able to download the softwares. Okay, and. Uh, that 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 is nothing but you maybe you, as the salesperson they should the client should know okay what are the deals with ibm they should handle the licenses uh, how about my practice uh, like uh, which license should be used from your side to installing to installing I, we don't require any license to apply okay so uh, there's nothing uh, don't uh, there's nothing like license key we have to apply uh, then only it will work nothing like that okay no. so only the setup file which you provide me that yeah. include everything yes 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 correct if it is downloaded from ibm right so that uh, ex yeah. that inbuilt has the uh, product uh, key and all that uh, not like microsoft we have to separately add that uh, key. Yeah, not like that Okay, if I'm just checking 5. Dot, this is the latest version, 5.5.11. If you see my screen, this is the yes, website. Yes. Okay, you can check the, the compatibilities. 5.5.11. So we need operating system. This is Windows, right? Here, which you are using. Yeah. And the card. Five. Platform engine. Just check your existing version. Did you try to hit this URL? File not engine. Host name 9080. Um, this is our servers. CPE, CPE, CSS, ICN, then this database. Mm -hmm. In this server, okay. I can find out uh, this one version. In CP, CP1, and login. I can write the comment or no? No, no, not comment. Uh, go to browser and uh, put look that you are localhost do you have access to login yes sir. okay okay then uh, here here however we just we can we cannot know the version here only web sphere version we can yes, put local host 9080 yeah it's running on 9081 yeah that's uh here we have like yeah correct Like SharePoint, we use AT443. Uh, hmm. Now you can go here. Uh, right side, you the, uh, just uh, there's an account name, right? Pro, uh, service account name FN prod underscore on top uh, where the IBM logo is there. Yeah. Uh, just uh, scroll to right. And, uh, sorry. There's a tools, yeah, yeah, about click on about 521. It's 521. Yeah, 521. So, yeah, it's on the latest. Uh, it's means uh, 5511 is the latest one, but 5217, five, 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 two, five, five, two, oh, right? So, it yeah. is not no need to. I think that is not that much complicated here for the upgrade because it's not 4.5. Ah, five minutes in the same uh, series. Same architecture, yeah. So, 
yeah five two one seven good content and uh, log into web sphere this one yeah what is the version here 8.5.5.5.5.5.5 and the database version which database is the is old only 2012 at the time 2014 rt actually we have in this host we have these files default file net there's a igor or sdf this one mm -hmm. but uh, there's this another application is hosted on 9043 maybe this is better It's username I don't have maybe. Uh, yeah, this is a file name. It's hosted on this one. Mm -hmm. It's a nine. It, it's uh, hosted on the one profile. Okay, where uh, mm, I think you you have two profiles here. Okay, yeah. nine zero four three. You are accessing nine zero four three here, right? So this yeah. is the profile one. And if you see nine zero double four. On the next yeah. tab, that is profile two. You have two profiles here for WebSphere, where uh, ah. FileNet is deployed in one profile, profile number one, and mm -hmm. I think Navigator is deployed in this in this profile. I guess there's another application. Uh, this name like uh, Murasra system is there, which uh, hosted okay. on the, this one. What happened now? Every time when we restart the all servers, uh, the FileNet mm -hmm. this applications come first. And the second mm -hmm. profile is take like five hours to come uh, run the this one. Five hours. Yeah, after five hours, it's like it's come up for the another port. It's no, like for starting it take it will take five hours. Oh, I did not get. Why? But, why it take uh, five hours? Filenet, yeah, this port in which hosted filenet here. Yeah? Mm. Profile first profile this one. It's come at uh, the same time. At the same time, it's come up when we start. Mm. The other profile mm. which is hosted on 9044, there's one application is there. Mm. When we try to, uh, when we go for that application to start it, this, this port, uh, this URL, it came after five mm. hours. This 9044, mm. it's come up after four hours. Okay, four when, hours, when, you, when, when you start uh, 9043, that uh, FileNet engine, at that time, yeah. you can't access this URL. After five hours, you can access this URL. Access, That's yeah. 9044, it's access after five, four hours, five hours. How we can know where is, it is hosted, why it's come take time? Same, this is the same profile, the same server, same profile, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. It, actually, what we call, we, we, there are instances. For WebSphere, we can create multiple instances. Okay, these are uh -huh. independent instances like profile one, profile two, I said, right? So yeah. 9043 is an independent instance, 9044 is an independent instance. Okay, so uh -huh. you, you yeah. can start and stop at any time independently. Okay, if you stop 9, 9044, it doesn't impact anything on the 9043. So, From how I can know, the, from where I can know the, the, where is this instance? In the services, you can see Web in the Windows services, you can see that well, there you can start and stop if you want to. It's haunted on the name only, right? Yeah. 
click on I, uh, only IBM HTTP server is there. Uh, try, uh, check with WebSphere W. Picture is not the right. It should be in the other server, not in the same server. It should be in the same server only. Maybe it's, uh, CPU. Maybe you did not create. Maybe you did not create a uh, which pair server is called Windows services for it. So you wanted to know why it is taking five hours to start. Yeah, that's what. Right? Yes. Okay. You can check the logs also. If you would like to do. Yeah, these are things. How to identify the any things? Uh, like, not started. Uh, how you can identify the traversal? Like Windows log files, I have idea. To, like based because of the SharePoint, I know how to identify the log files in Windows. I do uh, all this. Uh, the I know I have a knowledge on this one. For this year, no idea for this one. Okay, go go to logs. I, I'll just go to the drive where the WebSphere is installed. C drive or D drive. This one? Yeah, here. Go to profile uh, back. Go back. Profiles one. Yeah, we have C CP and CP if and CP in here. Two profiles. We have this okay. one. CP, FNC. Yeah, CP01 is the new in this one. 9044. Yeah. Go to logs. FNCP01. Stop server. Okay, only go back. This is the latest updated one. Server one also go. Yes, sort on the Read modify right? Yeah. Click on uh, yeah again once once again click click on date mode. Uh, open that um, start server. Start server uh, fourth file is fourth file. Open it. Notepad. Notepad yeah. Hmm. So here, um, com service WS service command for service started. Two forty five. It started. Yeah, this is very old log. Then go down. Completely down. Twenty twenty one log. Yeah. So when it started to start. Started at 23:40, 11:40 p.m. Yeah. Yesterday. And when it stopped? When it is? This is a uh, both uh, uh, 9044 also, right? Yeah, this is 9044 only. Long. Go, go to little up. Yeah, profile is there enough? FNCP101. Yeah, it started normally only. There was no issue. It initiated, okay. 
at 11:39 and it started by 11:40 this a profile one maybe profile two the second one let's take time okay go to webspace i'll see the profile name which profile webspace 9044 you can you log in this Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Web server. Ah, yeah. This one only. Uh, FN ICN. This is different name. This is production, ah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this production. So this profile, I could see that. Uh, mm, FN. Uh, uh, one second, go to servers. Application servers. I N C. Which one? I N C. No, 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 no. That only. The U R L only. Same U R L. Uh, web sphere application servers you click on here in the same application yeah no this server zero one or zero two ah, zero one uh, yeah yeah it's, it's only nine zero w click on application server we here app server app srv Node name is node name zero two. Okay. The profile name is FN ICN V zero one. This one only. Yeah. This is. Uh, can you copy that? Uh, copy that. And see. Uh, open that folder. I think we will check if they are on the same. Right path or not? This is CP path. Ah, uh, here figure. Hmm. Profiles. Yeah. Hmm. Go to CP. CP. Yes. So go to servers. Yeah. CP web server. Okay, not this one. Not this one. Go to again profiles. 
Go to FNCP01. Go to server. Server 1, web server 2. Why it is not matching? Server name is not matching. Oh, this is the same server that host name which you opened 9044. Uh, in browser browser open the browser web secure console in local host uh, it's work uh, 4043 but uh, it's, it's not work 40 for localhost if i use this name okay this is different server then fnslu yeah it says fake yeah yeah Go. then then that is a different server we are checking in the wrong server we can check in this same the zero to server we can check this one same thing uh that there is one host right icl some cn something in the url go to that host and 9044 URL was there, right? 90, right. yeah. 9044. Ah, this one FN, FNC, ICN, Go to this yeah. host. Log into that host. FN, FN, C, 0, CLU, there's no FNC, like this. This server is not working. This is server name correct only. FNC. FNICN. FNICN CLU. This is a cluster, I think. CLU. Okay. Zero to server. Local host. Yeah, in this server, it's open. So that's me. In this server, is hosted uh, four four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah like zero three also is working. So here uh, we need to log in and check what is the server name, then we can check the log. Yeah, here we have this one. This service the second service take time. No tool time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can check this logs. Go to that folder and you can check this logs. In the F drive. Yeah. IBM. IBM. Web sphere, not file it, web sphere. App server. App server. Profiles. Mm, FN ICN. FN ICN, I think. Servers. FN okay. Go to the ground or not? Go back. No, okay. 
Let me go back from here. Click on FN19. Till FN19. Up. Now you go to logs. FN ice, which is the latest folder. September 2020 go to the latest logs. This is the bottom. This is at 11.53, it started. FNICN open for e-business. Go scroll up. We can check the, with the port number. It can be done to find out here or no? Like 9044. Port number, you cannot check. This is a... Mm. Only node 1 and node 2 we can. Yeah, this one we can check. Not one out, not two. Go to that um, again. Go to that uh, WebSphere console. See current only in the node one. It is node one out, node two. In this server. Yeah. Search, search here in the servers. Uh, WebSphere Enterprise, WebSphere Enterprise Applications, not, not Enterprise, Expanded Servers, above one, above Applications, left hand side, yes, uh, Application Servers. Yes, yeah, see that, this matching, Node, CPE, this zero this one yeah this also zero one no cp zero one no three yeah cpe zero two in this server okay for a nine zero four check the logs nine zero four three cp zero two Two. Zero, 01 you have issue no? yeah zero, 01 we have issue yeah, copy this node name yeah, complete check the logs uh, which which one we opened which log no, it is not here this is fncp profile is this one you see, yeah. the log uh, is not FN correct. And INC01. Hmm. Go to the folders. Hey, it is there now. It's quick options. Go to that folder. Just now you put. Uh, here, FN, ICN01, node cell. Uh, there you go. F I N. Actually, this tester, it is here. Okay. F I C N. F N I N C V zero. Not system order.
Yeah, search that node name. Or else one thing also you can do uh, uh, for easy uh, to for the logs right go to web sphere if you are yeah. around this because number of servers are there number of profile names are there it's confusing this is one this one only zero okay Start server log only. It's uh, eleven. Yesterday night. Yesterday night at eleven. What is this then error? Uh? This error. A service command from why is it completed successfully? Go to last end of the file. Okay. And a server FN ICN open for e business process ID 8480. At what time it started? 11:53 it started. Mm. But when they stop, we don't know. Uh, then we can check in stop server log. Yeah. Go to folder again. And, uh, we can you can check. That. You can check in this uh, other log, stop server log. There is another file, stop server dot log. Go to and. Okay. No, no need to search directly. Go to and. Okay. successfully stopped service at, at what time 20 to 41 it stopped yesterday yeah. night and when it started uh, 23 yeah, it after started uh, after one hour it started it's, it is a issue it is started but the issue in this hmm. port is accessible 9044 after four hours mm -hmm. Though if it is start, though it is started, you cannot access the 9044 URL. The applications are working fine, but 9044 URL is not working. Is that right? Uh, hello. Yes, it will start uh, after. Uh... No, the, the applications which are there in this 9044, right? Some yeah. applications we saw. What is that? Uh, some custom applications. Um, yes, sir. Those are working. Those are those you can access, right? Yeah. We, no, no. Uh, what happened? It is hosted on uh, this one, 9044. Once this port is come up, uh, when we access this one, it show page not found or it's not loading, loading issue. After four mm -hmm. hours, five hours, this lo this uh, this uh, local host, this FNC, it load. When it's mm -hmm. load, automatically under the, the application is there. It will work same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the uh, until then application doesn't work. Right? Yes. Sir. Okay. I think mm -hmm. detailedly we have to stop it. Okay, once uh, in during office business hours, we need to. Yeah. Check all the logs. 
okay there is one one more called log called system out dot log it will have a detailed log uh, system system out this one uh, at what time it was an access uh, you are not able to access find it okay Okay then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay then. Bye bye.